Thousands of Calgarians got a glimpse at the Saddle Dome this weekend. It's their first major Olympic installation, completed more than four years ahead of the Games. Civic pride is high, but so as Bob Nicholson reports, is civic concern. The Saddle Dome was originally supposed to cost $84 million, but back in April, Olympic officials discovered the bill would be higher, as much as $16 million higher. The provincial government conducted an investigation. The report is still secret. Calgary City Council has started its own investigation to find out who or what was responsible. Part of the problem is the roof. At three acres of precast concrete, it's the largest free-span concrete roof in the world and very expensive to build. The first major event in the Saddle Dome happened last night when the Calgary Flames lost 4-3 to three to their provincial arch rivals, the Edmonton Oilers. The Saddle Dome will now be the Flames' new home. But for most Calgarians, today's open house was the first chance to tour their new arena. Oh, it's just great. Just the very, very nicest. My city is Montreal. Now that I see the building, I think it's going to be well worth, worth its cost. I think it's great. For 12 hours, thousands of people poured through the Saddle Dome's two lounges and 33 private suites complete with bars and refrigerators. They watched peewee hockey and bought popcorn and soft drinks by the gallon in the broad concourse. The Saddle Dome is the first major project to be completed for the 1988 Winter Olympics. While Calgarians loved the finished product, they're still worried about cost overruns, both here and on other Olympic projects still to come. For some, those worries are starting to dampen enthusiasm for the games themselves, four years away. Civic officials and Olympic organizers want to rekindle that Olympic spirit. They're determined there will be no more cost overruns on any of the major projects still to be built. Bob Nicholson, CBC News, Calgary.